Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Amna Hussain, board certified pediatrician, board certified lactation consultant, and mom. Today we're going to be focusing in on one of baby's first vaccines after birth, and that's the Hep B vaccine. So today's video is going to be about a topic that I commonly get asked about, and that is why should I give my baby the hepatitis B vaccine if I know that I don't have hepatitis B? Well, I think it's first off helpful to take a step back and talk about what is hepatitis B. It is a virus and every virus is different. And this virus is definitely one that lives in high amounts in someone who is infected with hepatitis B. Now, while contact with blood is the most common way to catch the virus, you can actually contract it through casual contact as well. So that could be sharing washcloths, infected razors, even toothbrushes, and that can cause infection. And it's interesting because there are certain parties who are at higher risk of contracting this virus, including healthcare workers, IV drug users, and yes, newborns of mothers born with infected virus, because you can even catch the virus from saliva. So while it might be present in lower levels in saliva than it is in blood, it is still a modality that people can contract the virus. Now, interestingly, before the hepatitis B vaccine was developed, every year in the United States, about 18,000 children were diagnosed with hepatitis B at the age of 10 years. That's not a small number. Now, this is especially important because if you're infected when you're younger, you're more likely to go on to develop liver cirrhosis and even liver cancer later in life. And that's incredibly important when it comes to our younger population because they are vulnerable. They're gonna be living with this chronic hepatitis for a long time and that can cause severe liver damage going down the road. Now, about 9,000 of the 18,000 infected children caught this virus in the first 10 years of life from an infected family member. Now, yes, they could have caught the virus from their birthing parent during the delivery, but even in instances where the birthing parent did not have hepatitis B, these children under 10 years of age still contracted the virus and the cause was someone within the family who carried hepatitis B. Because remember, you can catch the virus from casual contact, including toothbrushes, including saliva. And that means that many people who were infected with hepatitis B actually were infected and had no idea that they carried the virus. For all of those reasons, Pediatricians absolutely recommend, and public health officials recommend, that children should receive the hepatitis B vaccine even if their parent does not have the hepatitis B virus because they can come in contact with other individuals who could pose a risk and pass the virus on unknowingly to a child. And again, the longer you have the virus, the more likely your risk of developing liver cirrhosis and liver cancer. So why do we vaccinate an infant for hepatitis B? Because the best time to vaccinate for hepatitis B is as early as possible to help prevent and decrease the risk of contracting hepatitis B unknowingly from an individual during this infant's early days of life. I hope this video was helpful. I know that for many parents, it can be very difficult to understand why this vaccine is so important, but I hope this provided some very helpful context. And if you have questions, please ask them below. I'll do my best to answer, but remember no personal medical advice. I hope to see you guys again next week. Bye.